Welcome to Paris during the Olympics. So in this video, I thought it would be fun to show you a little bit around Paris during the Olympics and just like a few things that I did, a few meals that I ate, and just a few fun things, a few fun recommendations for a cute little summer video. Good morning, it's Friday, very excited. I love Fridays and tonight I have something fun planned. It is the opening ceremony of the Olympics that are being held in Paris. So my sister and my friend are going to go watch that. We're gonna go watch it, not, we're not gonna watch it like directly. We don't have tickets. But we're gonna go watch it on like a screen in Paris. We're probably not gonna watch the whole thing on the screen because there's gonna be lots of people and also there's gonna be rain. Yeah, it sucks. The weather in Paris is horrible. It's horrible. It's cold and it's raining. I love Paris, but the weather right now is not it. We're gonna have like a quick little dinner. So I'm going to go grocery shopping for that. So I'll show you the kinds of things that I buy it for that okay let's go i literally put on a jacket because it's that cold wait 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 what do you like about this girl i mean there's like a lot of things i'd probably start with i like the way she smiles she got me staring for a while got me staring for a while yeah, yeah. baby it's our conversation she's my favorite notification i'm back let me show you the stuff i got so I got some cherry tomatoes. This is for the meal I'm gonna make tonight. I got some whole wheat spaghetti. This is for me. Um, okay, <laughs> I got Cheetos. This is such a typically French uh, thing to have, you know, before dinner. We always have that. Uh, that was a joke. Then I got pasta, same for my pasta salad. Then still for tonight, I got some white beans for the pasta salad. I got some mini mozzarella balls for the salad. Okay, cheese that's not for tonight. Um, then I got green beans for the salad. Canned, because I love canned. It's just so much easier. Beyond Meat for me for another another day, another meal. Then I got some blueberries. This is going to be our dessert. I'm going to make like a little fruit salad with blueberries, apricots, and peaches. And oh yeah, I have an avocado for the salad as well to make it nice and creamy. So I'm getting started on dinner. The pasta is cooking and while it cooks, I'm going to get started on the fruit salad. So I'm just gonna like wash and cut everything. She knows how to dress for special occasions. She got me thinking life could be better. These songs start to feel like love letters. I should tell her now what I ever. It is what it is, man, whatever. So now it's time to assemble the salad. So I'm gonna do the seasoning. Um, at the bottom, so I'm gonna put some olive oil, then some salt, some pepper, and some herbs. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper directly to the avocado and the tomatoes. I don't know why I'm weird when it comes to avocados. If they're not seasoned enough, they have they taste gross to me. But if they are, I love them so much. It's so weird. So I'm gonna put in the pasta. I think I may have over overdone it a little bit with the pasta, so I might not put all of it. I didn't put all of it, and already I like barely have room for the rest of the salad. You're probably thinking, just buy a bigger bowl. Yes, that would be a good idea. So adding this. These are the white beans that I washed, that I rinsed. And then I'm gonna drain the green beans. In case you're wondering, there's three of us. <laughs> Don't ask why I made it this big, okay? I never make food for other people, so I have no concept of how much I should make. And then the little mozzarella balls. Okay, I managed to somewhat mix it in, and now I'm just gonna add a little bit more salt and pepper 
on top. And some herbs. And then cover it up and put it in the fridge. So we watched the beginning of the games at the park on a big screen and we really wanted to get that experience so we could see like everybody there and it would be fun. got sick of it there are lots of people it was a little bit raining so the plan was to head back to my apartment to watch it there while we have a nice some nice food and some nice wine and I have just the right tool to watch the opening ceremony and it, it is the LG Cinebeam Q projector and thank you to LG for sponsoring this portion of the video. Let me tell you, I have tried a lot of projectors in the past because I don't own TVs and this one is just out of this world. First of all, the quality, 4K, incredible. It is so beautiful. You don't even have to close like your curtains all the way. It's still incredible quality, which is amazing for me when I just want to watch something quickly for like 20 minutes. And also it is literally so pretty. It is an object of decoration and it is super easy to just move around. You can literally take it everywhere and the handle, like there's a little handle that you can carry it with and it also serves as a mount so you get the perfect angle. So that is just super useful. I don't even know how they had this idea. Like tell me that is not the most aesthetic projector you've ever seen and you can carry it from here. But probably my favorite feature about this is that it adapts automatically to the screen that you put in front of it. So you just lie it down and then it will automatically adjust the size and the resolution everything to the screen in front of it you don't have to do anything and that makes it super portable as well because you don't have to spend hours like adapting it to every place you take to every different screen you take it to okay so now i'm all ready for bed and i'm actually really excited because i am going to take the cinnamon q into my room and watch a movie on my ceiling and look at that it just perfectly calibrates to my ceiling and just optimizes everything the size the focus it's just so easy the fact that i can just watch a movie watch all my favorite shows from my bed how cool is this hi hi everyone so I'm with my sister and we're having a nice picnic on the Canal Saint-Martin. I was going to say the Seine. <laughs> yeah, me too. No, the Canal, I'm going to show you. It's closed, actually. Yeah, lots of stuff is closed, closed for the Olympics. We can't even walk in certain areas. It's, it's oh, no, no, we can't. So we're here and we're going to show you what we have. So we have cherry tomatoes, baby carrots with hummus. Um, and then I got like two different juices that we can share. Then I got these onigiri sesame avocado like rolls with uh, like rice and avocado in them. And then we're going to share this. It's a mozzarella and like tomato sandwich. And then for dessert, we have some blackberries. <laughs> So I just got home from the picnic that I had with my sister. We do this pretty often in the summer and a lot of Parisians like to be out in the summer. You're going to see like so many of us just out even if it's literally raining. It was actually raining like during our picnic. It started to rain and we just stayed there. We just like waited. It was like pretty light rain but it just shows that we want to be outside we love to be outside honestly i love paris so much i love the city however it's been getting on my nerves lately because the weather has been horrible paris get it together She keeps me close in the friend zone yeah but i don't mind it too much though why if my feelings don't show say it ain't so man you should know that i've been saying no but maybe you're the one i've been looking for so long so long 
got me thinking life could be better. These songs start to feel like love. Good morning. Today we're going to be walking around Paris and all like the little installations that they've set up for the Olympic Games. I think it's going to be fun to see what has been put in place. I mean, I don't think I'm gonna be able to see anything, like I'm not gonna see any games or anything like that because you have to pay for tickets, of course, but you can get pretty close to the events and kind of see how things are happening. Um, and they've set up like a bunch of little activities, things like that, so I think it's going to be fun to check that out and it's a beautiful day so this has been very rare in Paris the past few months so I'm gonna take advantage of that and just walk around the Seine and walk around all these kind of like major Olympic points I have a little card little map of Paris that shows me like the, the place I should go so we're gonna do that So currently I'm walking along the Champs-Elysees which they have kind of closed in certain areas for the games. People think I'm an American tourist, they hate me. <laughs> uh, and it's kind of hard to walk around in the sense that there are so many checkpoints where they check your bags sometimes you need like passes to access stuff but when you do like get in the the areas it's nice it's chill it's not over overcrowded um you just need to know where to go which i don't um sometimes i try to get into places and they say that i needed a a pass so you just have to walk around a little bit but it's nice I'm currently walking near the Seine, right here, but you can't go as close as uh, usual, but it's still nice. They have little um, areas for pedestrians, and I'm walking to go to the Eiffel Tower, which is like a maybe 20 minute walk from where I was. currently really thirsty. I've been walking around for like two hours almost. So I'm gonna take a little break, get something to drink, get something to eat as well. It's like uh, 2 p.m. So I'm gonna do that. I'm definitely gonna go buy stuff at like a supermarket because I don't want to spend hours waiting at a restaurant because all of them are filled with people. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm going to go to Invalide, which is my last stop that I wanna go to and then I'm gonna head home. So I'm 
taking a little food break at the park. Um, I have a baguette that I already started. Then, wait, actually, let me show you. I have some cherry tomatoes, some cheese slices that I'm gonna eat with the baguette, um, some blueberries, this drink. I don't know what it was, it looked good. And then, like a drinkable kefir. And you can't really see here, I'll show you later, but the things are right here. Some, something is happening, and you can hear people screaming. That was really fun. I think that it is still possible to visit Paris this summer and see a lot of it. I think that if your main thing, oh, look who's here. Wait, can you see him? <laughs> yeah, it's my friend's dog. I'm dog sitting. I think that if you're, one of your main things you wanna do is visit the Eiffel Tower, for instance, not the best time to come during the Olympics because you literally cannot access it. I try to, um, of course, like going on top of it, that has always been something you need to pay for, but now you can't even like access, um, you used to be able to go to like gardens, the gardens, the Champ de Mars, and just like be there and have like a good view of it. Here you can literally not have a good view of it. Currently you have to have like passes to be able to access that. I was in line for, um, to get in. I thought it was just like a bag check, because sometimes there's lines and you think it's like a ticket check, but no, they just want to check your bags. But no, this one, <laughs> this one was a ticket check. So things like that you can't really do. And you also like there are places you can't access. You have to go around. But other than that, I feel like it's fun. It's nice. If you have tickets to see the games, that, that wonderful experience. Um, and they have put things in place. It's really cool. There's like little stands where you can do like little activities and they explain a lot of the things. Everything is really well like indicated where you, where you like should go and what you're gonna see if you like go depending on where you go. So yeah, it was, it was nice. It does take longer than usual to walk around because sometimes there's places you can't access so you have to go around and there's like checks. So that can be a little bit frustrating. But other than that, it was a great time. So that's gonna be the end of this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like it, subscribe, and see you on my next one. Bye.